Oh hey, what's going on guys? Robrick is here, come to another LEGO review. Today I have Star Wars, it's uh, number 75002 ATRT, it is 7 to 12, and it comes with 222 pieces, 3 minifigs, and it retails for 20 bucks or 19.99. Uh, uh, but for me it was around 50 bucks, so, but anyways I got it because it's so awesome. I couldn't wait to get this set on my birthday, which was a couple, couple days ago, actually a week ago, <laughs> something like that, and uh, it's a great set, um, 2013, it's like one of the best deals for 2013, because for 20 bucks you get 22 pieces, 222 pieces, so that's qu quite cool, the box is very tall, uh, I think it's even bigger than usual 20 bucks sets box, uh, I don't have any of them, but let's compare it to the battle pack, so as you can see, it's almost the same size with battle pack. It's like I mean thickness. It's the same thickness with battle pack, and the width is same as well. But this is like two battle packs, so that's really cool. It's a tall box, as I say. Keep this one. Okay, and this one. I got that set as well, like together. Uh, okay, on the box we have. Uh, 2013 printed Yoda, so that's really cool. So I have one Yoda here and another one here, so that's funny. Uh, Lego Star Wars logo, the set number, and etc. Let's take a look at, take a closer look at it. Okay, here's our stuff. Then there's battle scene going on, and our three epic minifigures, most anticipated minifigure. It's five of us Trooper, obviously. Nice Yoda, nice to get Yoda, and new battle droid as well, uh, commander droid, uh, sorry. Okay, feature that you can keep the gun, rotating gun, posable X, battle scene, couple of views of the set, and there's a Lego Star Wars, uh, the website, and here is our, another action scene, on the top of the box we have uh, minifigures and one to one scale. Uh, Lego club, it's like another action scene, some languages, new, 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 everyone's saying that's new. Some other languages like warning, choking hazard, it's like just like normal stuff. The parts which are made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, mm, and Czech Republic. So, I guess that's pretty much it for our box. And uh, I'm gonna open it right now. I have a weird book because it opens from the bottom. I'm not sure why, but anyways, I'm gonna crack this bad boy. Oh, is that listening to me? Oh, that wasn't the best <laughs> way to open the box, but anyways, almost got it. Our box. So let's take a look at the back side. Oh, whoa, three bags. I was expecting two. Anyway, that's cool. So let me move my camera at my usual spot. Okay, here we go. Oh, got some stuff. Put the box like that. I'm gonna show you the pieces. Oh, sticker sheet. The first stuff is everything falling apart. Okay, it's it's pretty huge, I guess. Yeah, it is, and it's quite thick. I'm sure, because uh, 222 pieces, so that's nice, nice, nice thick instruction for that manual, or whatever you call that. Here's our boy who assembles his Legos and the bags, like in which bag what you got. It's, that's cool. Then moving on, it's like building a minifix, and uh, we have around, let me check, we have around 61 to 62 pages, other sets, Z95, Battle Packs, A-Wing, Rancor Pit, I'm gonna get Z95, that's so cool, I really want those, the pilot and other minifix list, and nowadays it's common for all the Lego Star Wars sets and some of the other teams parts list so that's pretty decent uh, instruction manual 
Now let's move on to our pieces. Let's start from bag number one. And what we got in bag number one is our mini figures and droidica. As you can see, here is our helmet. Oh god, this helmet looks so cool. And the lightsaber helmet, Yoda's head, and his body, and like all the figures, as well as the droidica comes in bag number one. Moving on to bag number two. And here's like some other pieces which are, I guess, I don't know, it's like bag number two where we can build, I guess, legs. Yeah, you're building legs here, legs of ATRT. And the uh, last bag is number three where you're assembling the main parts, like the head or whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, together with all these things, we get instruction sheet with four four stickers on it or oh, instruction sheet sticker sheet with four stickers it's like five of first five of first and there's some uh, uh, I guess um, something like um, I don't know just like some markings so that's pretty cool it says Lego group 2013 so now I'm gonna build this thing and I'm gonna show you what we got and totally like give you best best look as I can and uh, stay tuned for that hey guys I'm just done building up my set so I'm, that was so much fun I really enjoyed building the set it's cool I love that it came with three separate bags and the figures are great it's like out of the bed I totally recommend it to everyone and by the way guys may 4 be with you and may 4th not may 4th <laughs> Uh, so let's let's take a look at our figures. Uh, so first, with the common, like most common figure, we take a look at the Yoda. So what did what did, uh, box doesn't say that he's new, but he does have he does have some extra printing on the back. Uh, old Yoda didn't have any printing on the back, as I recall. Yeah. So this is new, as well as his white hair. I guess after the eight. Uh, AAT, he become older and his hair turned from gray to white. <laughs> and he comes with the front printing as well, and he, he have some nice printing on his face. The printing is only the eyes, but they're done in great uh, variations of colors, like blue, dark green, and etc. And as, uh, well, he comes with his, his regular lightsaber, but this time it's really green neon and not the lime green. Uh, so this is my first Yoda and I'm really happy about him. Even though the Clone Wars Yoda is a bit... It's like... I don't know, he just looks a bit weird. Anyway, I'm happy about him. And I think he's an accurate figure for his source. For Clone Wars animated series. Next figure is our Separatist. Uh, commander droid uh, so here is our commander droid and he comes with the regular blaster and the only difference between him and other commander droids that he comes with the f printing on the head and here's quick comparison um, you see that's all that's the difference just the f f head printing and now the best figure of the set in my opinion and I guess everyone's opinion is our Five of First Legion Clone Trooper. Everyone been waiting for this guy, and it's even better now. It's in a Phase Two, so that's really cool. Um, here's his head. His helmet is completely new mold. It's not made of some old old helmets. It's completely new, so that's really cool. And if you look at him from from this angle, he looks so accurate to the movie as well as to the animated series. Uh, here's a bit failure of the printing that it doesn't go all the way back. Anyways, we can forgive it since it looks so amazing. He includes printing on his legs, front torso and the back of the torso. As, as any clone trooper, he comes with a regular blaster, so I keep it there. And there is a slight change of the face that the colors of the of of his details at the front of the face is. A bit brighter, or I don't know, they just change it a bit. It's like, I'm, I'm gonna show you quick from another clone trooper, and you can see the difference. Here's the colors are more obvious. 
and uh, okay uh, his front printing is brand new it's totally differs from the other troopers uh, I'm gonna show you from the phase one it's totally different as well as his back is completely different uh, I think that's pretty much about him and his great figure I really love that I love the figure and I'm glad that Lego had made him here's the last look at him okay keep him here and now okay another part of the set which is mini figure size but it's not minifigure it's our destroy droid or droidica and he, uh, we have sniper droidica on the box it shows that sniper droidica comes with the bubble shield but in the animated clone wars uh, <clears throat> series he doesn't uh, only thing he has is like some some sort of front shield and this long turn obviously as you can see this guy is not able to turn Obviously, you can't you can't put him as a ball and make him slide, or make him roll. So that's a bit sucky. But wait, anyway, it's he looks great. It's like if you get two of them, you can put him on the in your mocks, the building. If you have any buildings, you can put them on the top, and they will be sniping clones. So that's really cool. Uh, in in season four, or three, I I don't remember. Uh, Ahsoka and Anakin had faced two of those, and they make quite a bit of trouble for them so that's really cool and it's nice addition to the set uh, it, I actually I think though those 22 pieces is the droideka and other 200 is ATRT I might be wrong but anyways it's a great addition it's like awesome, the awesome bonus for the set okay now I'm done with the smallest part let's move to our ATRT okay here is our ATRT uh, ATRT stands for All Terrain Recon Transport, and it is a great vehicle. I know, I know, I know. Everyone's gonna say, "Yeah, it's completely oversized." Yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, normal ATRT is just like just uh, it's like three and a half meters tall, but this guy is comparing to the clone. It's like four times higher than him. Here's comparison to my custom ATRT. As you, can, as you can see that my my custom ATRT is accurate size and this guy is really huge but anyway Lego have done great job um, in about this this vehicle it has a lot of cool details and there is some features but I'm not sure if you can call them features the okay, first feature is movable turn I don't think that it's ever been in Clone Wars like this thing rotates. I'm not sure about that, but it's the torrent itself looks great. Even though I'm not sure about this thing, I don't. I don't think it's supposed to swivel. Another feature that Lego had made: you can you can store clone troopers blaster at the back. So that's really cool. It includes four stickers. Uh, two stickers saying five first, and another two stickers that show some vehicle details and some design for it it's done in blue color so it's 501st legion legions uh, ATRT uh, <clears throat> it includes really nice nice details it's like look at look at that here's some antennas going on some uh, as I remember they used ATRTs to transport not just troops but they they use them to transport uh, it's like supplies such as food or uh, it's like bullets and all this all this armor stuff so it includes some sort of two battle packs uh, not battle packs <laughs> two backpacks so that's really cool uh, to add some nice details Lego had included these two pieces on the sides so it shows some sort of it's like ADRT can jump or something like that so that's really cool uh, there is normal handle for the ADRT, but uh, anyways, it always look good, so no thoughts about that. Okay, let's take a look at the legs. These are really long legs, and they do have some cool design on them. There is even movable claw, <laughs> so that's really cool. Unfortunately, you can place them only like so. If you if you're not gonna put put the legs in this position, it's already gonna flip over. You can put them in any position and 
he will flip over. So he's a bit top heavy. But uh, you're not going to mess with that, right? You can put him on the studs and they'll be just perfect. He'll be standing. He'll be standing. Just like it, 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 it's not hard to make it. Even though this feature, uh, not this feature, this details gives it a great look. They a bit. Look, this is what I'm talking. If you remove, if you're gonna remove them, you actually can stand ADRT in in, a, in different position. But without them, he looks really odd. That 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 that's the issue. They thought of the including a great details, but they didn't think of playability. But for display, it's awesome. It's really awesome figure. It's over oversized. Yes, it's hundred percent oversized, but. It looks great with a 501st trooper. It's a bit inaccurate. Actually, the set comes with a lot of inaccurate stuff, such as Droidica, uh, Yoda, and ba Commander Droid. They were not in Umbara, but this set came from Umbara. And here's the proof. I'm gonna show the box. The box shows that there is a battle scene at the Umbara. It's like this is Umbara. Yoda wasn't on Umbara, it's Iron Man, as well as Sniper Joy Dicka or, uh, or Commander Joy, none of them were on Umbara, so that's a bit of shame. Another another thing which is not accurate about this is that normal troops, they do not drive ATRT, there's always R troopers in there. Uh, it would be so cool if we would just get R trooper and and the normal soldier and an extra barn. That will be that will be great. It's like everyone's gonna buy it, like multiples of them. So what I do by the side what I would. But it just comes with Yoda Command Droid and Droid Eka. Anyway, it's a great bonus if like someone didn't get Yoda or someone didn't don't have any separatists. It's a great buy. So actually you, you can make some small battle scenes going on such as Yoda going going against the trooper and the droid Eka trying to bring down the ATRT. So that that's 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 the nice thing about set. And overall I'm sure that everyone's gonna buy it just because of the five first trooper and it's a great buy. It's a great deal for twenty bucks you get two hundred and twenty two pieces. It's less than ten cents per piece. So that's awesome. And since today is May first uh, May 4th, I would like to say that May 4th be with you people and uh, something special is coming out, I'm gonna make a re another review on the same day today so stay tuned for that thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed my qu not quick, but my review and uh, see, you see you guys next time, thanks